from the Amazon to Appalachia. Efforts are underway to revive damaged forests. In Peru, as the military combats illegal gold mining and blows up hidden equipment, scientists are on a different mission, trying to grow trees and soil contaminated with mercury. The great desafío que a la fecha casi nadie se ha atrevido es a cómo plantar un arbolito y pueda crecer en este tipo de suelos. Madre de Dios is known for its landscapes and biodiversity. But John Farfan says mining has turned parts of the lush rainforest into a desert. Lastimosamente, este, tú dices, ¿qué ha pasado? Farfan, who works with the non-profit Cincia, says planting a tree is like cooking the perfect meal. Es lo mismo con un árbol. Tienes que tener mucho cariño por lo que haces. And just as food nourishes the body, trees help feed the planet. If people realized what forests provide to them from clean air, clean water, carbon sequestration, wildlife habitat, food resources, I think that we'd see a lot more restoration of forests going on. In Appalachia, logging and strip mining altered the landscape. When coal companies left, they compacted the land and planted non-native trees. So, they're starting over in West Virginia. ripping out non-native trees to make way for red spruce trees that once dominated the region. Red pine doesn't support the habitat of a lot of species that live here. Red spruce does. It really looks like a bomb went off. I think a lot of people still think that we're totally crazy with the work that we're doing because it's just so different than going and planting a tree. Planting a tree is kind of the final step of the, of the whole process for us. In Peru, they know their success will depend on planting the right trees. Si somos optimistas de que cualquier suelo degradado demora, pero sí se puede cerrar la cicatriz.